I'm going to do an exercise for Japanese Mahjong, also known as Richi. This exercise I call random pulls. It's kind of a what would you do scenario when you get your drawn tiles. If you have a set at home, give it a try and let me know if it helps you identify Yaku with your drawn hand. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way, you won't miss anything. We'll alternate between east and south hanchins and do six random pulls. For these random pulls, we'll just say we're the dealer. So I'll get 14 tiles each time. East, south, west, north. West is Dora. You go one up from the indicator, east, south, west, north. So west is Dora for this random pull. Dragon Pwn. This is also called Chun, Red Dragon. That's a Yaku all by itself. Let's see if there are any patterns in here. Four, five, six, four, six. We're missing the cracks for that chi. Let's see here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight honors and terminals. I was just thinking maybe we could play outside hand, but we'd have to throw away one, two, three, four, five tiles, including a chi. So let's see, this south is the indicator for Dora, so there's only two more left. I think I'd probably throw that first because there's only two left. Then I think I would go for Dragon Pwn and that's it. And just Chi wherever I can. Here's a Chi, here's a Chi, there's a potential Chi. All we need is a pair and just play Dragon Pwn. That's it. You know, we could consider playing Concealed if we draw it and Richie for an additional Yaku, but that's very situational. For this random pull, I would say Dragon Pwn would be the only thing that we could really push. Random pull one, Dragon Pwn. South round, random pull two. Three Bam is Dora. I would get rid of the South and play probably, ooh, we have all the sevens. Pair, pair. If we pair up the seven, we could play triple pwn. That's three of a kind, same number in each suit. I think I would get rid of this South and maybe if we draw the seven, pwn, and do triple pwn, or we could play, if we get the eight bam, maybe we could do mixed triple chi. We have a seven, nine, seven, eight, and a seven. That's a potential as well. Maybe get rid of the south, and then the ones focus on five through nine hold this as long as possible and see if either mixed triple chi comes in or triple pone and if neither of those come through pin fu
if we even get rid of this and this, one, two, three, four, five discards, Tan Yao, all simples. But I don't think I would focus on that as much because I would love to see Triple Pwn or Mixed Triple Chi come in. I think that's what I would focus on for Random Pull 2. If you would do something differently, write in the comment section Random Pull 2 and what you would do with these tiles. There is a slight potential here for pure double chi, five through eight and a pair in there. I think I would try to gather five through nine in each suit and see what happens. Back to east, random pull three. Five BAM is the indicator, so six BAM is Dora. Ooh. Pair, pair, pair. Look at all these honors and BAMs. I think I would discard these first. Maybe play Toy Toy. We're short a pair to really be comfortable with that. So I think I would focus on BAMs and honors first. Hold this as long as possible and see what comes in. Either half flush with BAMs, which is called Honitsu, or all pone, all three of a kind. Any pair is a potential pone. The challenge here is if we use this as a potential pwn, these are isolated. So we would need, obviously, to pair up or draw in chi potential to do sequences. If we are east, and this is east round, this is not going to give us a yaku. Hmm, I was just thinking, there's also a potential here for outside hand. Really, we would just need to discard this because the eight, the seven, eight, and the two, three could all be used with terminals. So Chanta, outside hand, might work too. I would start by discarding this tile and see what happens. Either Chanta, Half Flush, or All Pwn. South Round. Seven crack is Dora. We have all the fives. So I think we also have here one, two, three, four pair. I think I would get rid of these and play half flesh, all pwn, dragon pwn. That is a sweet start right there. One, two, three, four blocks. All we need in here is a pair. I would, I would discard these. Maybe save the fives and discard these first. If you would play this differently, write random pull four and what you would do. So half flesh would be two Han. Dragon Pwn would be another, so that'd be three. And then all pwn, I believe, is two. Two for Honitsu, two for all pwn, one for the dragon pwn. That would be Mangan.
I would love to play that one out. East round. West is Dora. No honors. We have one, two, three pair. One, three, one. Here's a three, two, nine, eight, nine. Maybe Chanta. Maybe mix triple chi with one, two, three. The six and seven, or actually the seven we could keep. So I think what I would do is go for, let's see, three pair. I think I would throw the six, six crack, six dot, and four bam. Let's see. Maybe for Chanta. But also, let's just see the chi potential. There's chi potential there in a pair, chi potential, and then two pair or a pure double chi potential. One, two, three, one, two, three. So there is chi potential, two discards. So this would be one, two, three, four, five, six. We have too many potential chis. Hmm. Either way, we didn't use this six. So I think I would throw the six first and see what comes in. I think we'd be in between outside hand, which is, ooh, terminals and all. That's a different one. That's Tuhan, Jun Chan, not outside hand because we have no honors. Jun Chan, terminals in all because we have this, this, and that. And then we have edge tiles with the three, seven, eight, two, three. I think I would discard this first. There's also chi potential, so maybe pinfu if terminals in all doesn't work, or if we don't pair up, we could even play all pwn if we pair up. Because we have three pair. One more pair, and I think there'd be a little more comfort with the idea of Toy Toy, which is all three of a kind. Any pair is a potential pwn. Hmm, interesting. We do have one, three, one, two, three. So we're a little light in the dots. Last one, East Round. Okay, Red Dragon is the indicator. The progression for dragons is red, white, green, and then back to red. So White Dragon is Dora. No Dora. For this one, I would discard the West first, I think, and then play maybe mix triple chi. We have one, two, three, one, two, and three. And then here we have a potential chi with the four, six, and seven, nine. So I think I would get rid of this, look at either pinfu, which is all three in a sequence, or mix triple chi if we can get a one and a two bam. There is another potential here for terminals in all because we do have nine, nine, one, one. We'd have to throw away one, two, three, four discards and a potential chi here. So I think probably what I would do is discard this first, see what comes in. 
then maybe discard the four next. And if mixed triple chi comes in, play that. Or stay concealed and play pinfu. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four blocks. Chi, potential chi, potential chi. Oh, here we go. Potential chi, potential chi. All we really need is a pair and then just try to improve these weights. Because right now we have a closed weight there. We need the eight in the middle. Closed weight here. We need the three in the middle. Closed weight here. We need the five in the middle. And this would be called an edge weight where we're waiting for the three on the edge. Those are all one tile weights. When you play pinfu, which is all cheese, you need a side weight where you're waiting for, for example, this would be a side weight where you're waiting for a two or a five. You have to have a side weight for pinfu. So this would take work, whether it's pinfu and richi or mixed triple chi. If you're new to richi, Look below the video for a link to a player reference with the Yaku table on it. If you have a set at home, give this exercise a try and practice identifying where you can find score in your drawn tiles. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the bell if you do so you get notification for when I post new videos. That way you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or maybe pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next set of random pulls for Japanese Mahjong, also known as Richi, may all your picks be keepers.